Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Black Ops Search and Destroy sniping gameplay commentary. And yes, yes, this is actually sniping gameplay. Uh, I made a mistake. Again, I apologize on my last video. Uh, in the second take, I told myself right before I hit record, I said, don't say sniping gameplay. And then I hit record and I did because I'm bad and I have no talent and I apologize. So... But anyway, this is actually sniping gameplay on the new map hazard, part of the Annihilation Map Pack DLC. And I'm recording this on, on July 13th, but when this uploads, it will be, obviously, the next day, July 14th. It will be my birthday, 24 years ago today. The world uh, was given me, begrudgingly, I guess. <laughs> if the world only knew, 24 years later, what a pathetic a-hole I would become. But anyway... It is my birthday. Uh, I was thinking about doing an open lobby for my birthday, but I do have some family and uh, that I want to see and, and some things I want to do. So I'm going to take this day for myself, uh, maybe maybe get drunk. Maybe if you're following me on Twitter, um, pay attention to the outro for the Twitter address. Uh, maybe I'll do something later when I get home if I you know grab a case of beer or something and, and we can have some fun. Um, maybe if I can figure out how to... Uh, how to record my voice at the same time as well as talking to you guys. We can do, I can do like a, a drunken live commentary slash open lobby. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll play that one by ear. But anyway, I got a lot of comments on my last video uh, about, on video bumping, about talking about the Alki David and the billionaire challenge thing. And I didn't want to at first because I wasn't involved and me weighing in and coming in and say, all right, this is how things are, because that's my style, that's what I do, um, me doing that would seem out of place. Because, I, you know, I wasn't involved really. Uh, I really, to be perfectly honest, wasn't paying attention. Uh, the only reason I've, I've heard about it and started following it was because, one, I saw the fallout from Twitter uh, from the, the Billionaire Challenge draft and, uh, and saw some of the videos... Uh, posted by Alki David in response to the the flaming that he got and, and it's convoluted and all these things and uh, because of you guys commenting say hey what do you what is your take on this so I've been doing some research and looking into it and looking at actually what happened and for the, you know everybody already knows what happened so we'll we'll just leave the specifics out of it uh, but it seemed to me initially. And again, this is initially that a lot of the people that were distan distancing themselves from Alki and saying, get this guy out of here. Because even if they don't, even if, even if people don't say explicitly, you know, we don't want to do any, we don't want to have anything to do with this guy. That's what they're saying. Because that's what the, that's the position that is the only logical conclusion that can be had from the position of other people in the community. They're saying, get this guy out of here. We don't, we don't want anything to do with him. And I was skeptical of that at first, rational, you know, just me being the, the kind of person that I am. I was skept skeptical of that sentiment. I was, I was wondering what their motivations were. And originally I thought it's like, well, with the things that happened apparently during the draft and then the fallout, uh, you know, if those are reasons to distance yourself from somebody, I'm going to go ahead and be very, very skeptical of your motivations for doing so. Whether it be you don't think that the, the publicity given to yourself uh, will be will be worthwhile or, or anything like that. And But then I saw a video from Pwn Star for Hire, uh, and he was talking about, he said, there are things that we don't really know about uh, that that are causing people to back away from Alki David and, and all these things. And uh, he, he made reference to just being used by Alki David and, and you know, trying to be screwed over. And, and, and again, I don't know anything, and he is probably much better situated to speak authoritatively on the issue than I am. But I will say this, because Pwnstar and because other people have been so coy about their actual reasons for wanting to back away from this and not have anything to do with Alki David, and until they're more open about that, I'm going to go ahead and be skeptical as to say that that is actually a good thing for the community. Because here's the thing. Like it or not, Alki David is a billionaire. I, again, like at first, I didn't believe it. I thought he was like a fake billionaire. You know, a guy went to a nice country club and recorded himself and is like, oh, this is my house. See, I'm rich. Um, but he actually is. I uh, made a good fortune in social media and, and all these things. And... Like it, but again, like it or not, Alki David has a lot of money, and he's an independent third party that is looking, apparently, again, apparently, I don't know, apparently looking to throw around a lot of money. Now, 
like it or not, again, you guys, I know people like to say, oh, the, this community was better when it was all done for hobby and all these things. But when the money starts flowing, the content gets better. That is, that is something you cannot argue with. When the money starts flowing, there is, there is more content and it is more likely to get better. That is, that is true. You will see that on anybody that gets partnered. Watch their uploads, how, many, how much content they put out and how much effort they put into their content. Although that might change now with video bumping being uh, taboo and all these things. But, he, but t Alki David has a lot of money. And he wants to, apparently... Now, again, I don't know. I don't know how much of his money he was wanting to put into this. I don't know what he was looking to get out of it. I've never met the man. I've never spoken to him. And I probably never will. But some people apparently have, and apparently they were not getting the, the ideas that they, that they had had in their head about what he wanted, about what he wanted to do. But until we know for sure, we have to assume, or, or I like to assume, of billionaires as coming in as third parties, that they are the, they are the flamboyant savants that are willing to, to just throw around money just to make a little bit. They are willing to take less profit because they already have enough revenue or enough stashed away, they can just have fun with what they do. They can afford to overspend. They can be like the Yankees because the Yankees make however many hundreds of millions of dollars a year on their TV network. It doesn't matter that they spend $250 million a year on their total payroll. It doesn't matter because they make $500 million on their on their TV network. So th that's my thinking on the issue. And, and I like an Alki David, uh, again, this is my sports background. Uh, and again, this is just my initial response. This is just, I see, and I, I see the situation. And I think Alki David is, or could be to the call of duty community, what Mark Cuban was to the Dallas Mavericks and the NBA, because before Dallas, before Mark Cuban took over, uh, the Dallas Mavericks in 2000, uh, became the became the full owner. The Dallas Mavericks had not a, had not made a playoff appearance since the 1990-91 series, and they had not appeared in the NBA Finals ever at all in their career. And they had not appeared in the in the conference finals since 1980 until or since the 87-88 season. So the so the Dallas Mavericks have been bad. And and we're not just talking missing the playoffs here. We're talking seasons before Cuban took over of a 36 and 46 win loss record, 26 and 56, 24 and 48, uh, 4 and t 4 and 12 and then 16 and 50 under two different head coaches in uh, in 1997-98, 19 and 31 in 98. 899. That is what we're talking about in terms of how bad the Dallas Mavericks were until Mark Cuban came around because they were they were they had a horrible owner before Mark Cuban and Mark Cuban said, "Okay, now we're going to start spending up to the cap. Now we're going to start paying luxury tax for these guys if we have to, and we're going to start marketing this team. We're going to start bringing this team to the forefront of the NBA." And they did, and we've seen how that worked for the Dallas Mavericks. Now, am I saying that that Alki David is going to change YouTube or make it better? No, it is entirely possible possible that Alki David is the kind of person we don't want around around YouTube. That's entirely possible. But here's what I'm saying. I'm, uh, this is my final point. I'm talking here both to you, the viewers, and to the big YouTube, any big YouTube commentators that might be out here or listening. Don't take a moral stance against somebody or something just because taking moral stances are fashionable. Because you could end up not looking at things rationally, not looking at things practically, and although you say you're trying to help the community, you might end up hurting it by taking your moral stance just because you want to take a moral stance. And as much as you want to pat yourselves on the back for taking a moral stance, you might actually hurt them. So look rationally, or think rationally about this. Think practically. And, and then we will be able to help the community. So anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining on my birthday. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. The fun doesn't stop here. It's also on Twitter. Just go to twitter.com slash lefty643. Once again, that's twitter.com slash lefty643. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Barack Obama, the son of a black man from Kenya and a white man from Kansas. Thanks a lot, guys.